Welcome. In front of me I have the TCL Tab 10s and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. Now you can see that I do have this device unlocked and there's two ways for me to unlock it using the previously set up pattern and also uh, using Google account. Now assuming we don't know either of those, uh, additionally for you it could be also PIN or password, it doesn't really matter. If it's locked by Google, this will work. So to get started, uh, you can see it's locked. Now in your case, you do want to progress to the Wi-Fi connection page if you haven't done so already and connect to some kind of network. You can see I have already connected. Once you do so, go back to the first page right over here and then select vision settings, talk back, and then select Talkback shortcuts, I believe. No, oh, never mind. Uh, use uh, use Talkback. There we go. Select Allow and Talkback on. Welcome to Talkback. So obviously you can hear that it's talking. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I wanted to mute it just for my own sake. Uh, it's not necessary if it doesn't bother you. So once you see this page right over here, uh, this green outline, you want to draw a mirrored L like this on the screen. Then double tap on the first option, which is already selected. Now, before I do so, I'm just going to mention one thing. When TalkBack is enabled, uh, you don't really use the device as you would normally do. So for instance, if you want to select Deny, you will see that when you press on it, it doesn't actually uh, like automatically confirm that option that you just tapped on, it just selects it. And then you need to double tap on it to confirm it. But we still want to select the first one while using the app, double tap then, and select use voice commands. And before you double tap on it, I'm gonna quickly go into what we need to do because this will be a little bit like time sensitive. So when you double press this button, uh, microphone will activate and the device will start listening to you, which is, I believe, indicated by a, uh, some kind of auditory uh, indication, like a beep. And once that happens, you want to say, open Google Assistant. Give it a moment, it will start well, thinking what you said. And once it opens up Google Assistant, which will be this kind of like window right here with the four Google dots, the four different colors. Uh, if they're moving a little bit, that means that they're already listening to you. And you want to then say, open YouTube. Now it's also a chance that uh, once Google Assistant opens up, it will give you another beep that it's listening to you, but that doesn't always happen. So I'm going to do that right now, and you can you know, watch this how I go about it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So as you probably heard, there were three beeps. One was it started listening to me. Once I said open Google Assistant, it accepted the command with another beep, then opened up Google Assistant, and you had a third beep that again indicated that it's listening to me. So there we go. Now once you open up YouTube, you want to hold volume up and down at the same time. Select turn on, double tap and then hold those two keys again, volume up and down. This will turn off TalkBack so we can now use the device normally. From here, click on the account icon, settings, about, and Google privacy policy. Select accept and continue and no thanks. And once it loads up Chrome, you wanna tap right at the top and you want to navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. Now I will write it down myself, so if you need to see it, you can pause the video once I'm done. So now would be the time to pause if you need to copy this link. From here, scroll down. You will get a pop-up most likely. Yep, there we go. So select consent. Scroll down till you get to the settings. Tap on it. From here, scroll down to apps. 
tap on the blue text right here view all 48 apps or however many it shows you and tap on the three dots then show system now in here i'm going to start off by selecting android setup select disable disable app for stop then go back scroll down to google play services There we go, Google Play Services. Again, select Disable, Disable Up, First Stop, and OK. Now, once these two things have been done, we can go back and back once more. <coughs> Gonna quickly just make sure. OK, so that's basically all we needed to do here. So now just Start pressing the back button until you get to the setup. There we go. Select start. Skip. Ah, there we go. For some reason it didn't want to go so I went back and it automatically went back to the Wi-Fi connection page with an option to set up offline. So that's what I selected. Hopefully this will work now. now it looks like it doesn't want to finish up so I'm gonna hold the power key and reboot. Hopefully this will help me. Normally what should happen is once you go back to the setup it will glitch out because we did kind of turn it off and it should automatically just get you to the page where you have uh, the TCL terms and conditions where you get to select I agree and from there it just takes you straight to your home screen if that happened for you that's great uh, then all you need to do is just navigate into the settings and system and select reset and factory reset the device and that will finish up the entire bypass but if you have problems like I do then I'm gonna try to solve them right now and see if I can manage something so if you're seeing this video I guess I succeeded so I guess we'll see so from here I'm just kind of trying to troubleshoot this this won't be necessarily part of the the guide because it's not going as it's supposed to so right now I'm just kind of going my own way actually I'm gonna connect the network we'll see if that does anything okay so I guess I'm gonna try this again mm. Open Google Assistant. Google. Google Play services required. Google. Google. Settings. App info. Back. Button. Enable Google Play services. Photos won't work. Back. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube.
Okay, found my problem. So I disabled one Android setup, but it looks like there's another one. And that's probably the reason why this didn't want to work. So there we go, that's the second one. And I did need to enable Google Play services to solve this. So let's get back to Google Play services. There we go, disable, and first stop. So there we go. So now again, I'm gonna back out. And there we go, that was the problem. So uh, I can see there is the There we go. Oops. So as you can see, this is the page that we're looking for from the beginning. So the Google Play, uh, or not, uh, the Terms of Service from TCL. So select, I agree. And here we can just skip. And as you can see, this takes us to the home screen. There we go. So in here, like I mentioned before, you want to navigate into the settings, scroll all the way down to system, select the reset. Factory data reset, reset device, tap on that once more, and this will begin a factory reset of the tablet. Now I'm not really gonna go through the uh, process on the camera, it's already long enough, and this shows you nothing extra. It's just a fully automatic process. Once it's completed, you're back in the setup of the tablet, at which point you can set up the tablet however you want. It's fully unlocked, so it's just a typical setup screen. No need to do any kind of like trickery like I did right now. It will just require you to set it up how you want to and that's it so anyway that being said this is how we can bypass the google verification and uh, if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching